One of the most important parts of a building is something you don't see, its ability to resist a fire. Before construction on a building begins, fire prevention and protection engineers are called in. They're experts in what causes fires, how they spread, and how they can be put out quickly. By understanding how fire moves, they can help build in fire resistance. While some engineers may have gained first-hand experience in fighting fires, it's required that all engineers take courses in college or vocational school to become certified in this field. The air that entrains in the gaps in the wall and, and circulates around uh, to create the elongated flame. The job requires traveling to buildings and construction sites for inspections. These engineers consult with builders and architects, giving advice on what materials and systems to use to meet fire safety standards. The work can be physically demanding, requiring bending and climbing. Engineers need to have strong reasoning and problem-solving skills. The bed's going to ignite a lot more. It's going to, the fire's going to spread along the mattress as it gets hotter and hotter. As well as good communication skills. Because to give effective advice, you have to be able to make your points clearly and forcefully. After all, you're the advocate for the people who will be living or working in the building. Someday, their lives may depend on the job done by the fire prevention and protection engineer.